Hi, today I'm going to make a handle for my fat coil. Normally I would extrude a um, piece of clay that is wider than the handle that I would want to make, a bigger piece, and then I would, but similar to the shape that I want, and then I would pull that handle to get it into the shape I do want. But I don't have an extruder and I'm use one at a community studio which I'm not planning to go to today so I thought I would try this out using a very fat coil so here we go so you start off with nice wet hands and what we're trying to do is flatten out the coil um, by pulling down with even pressure if you squeeze too hard which actually one tends to do, you end up with kind of a lump at the bottom. So I'm trying not to do that, or you might actually pull the handle off. I don't want to do that either, but I do have a little lump, so I'm going to get rid of it. So I ha now have a longer, kind of flatter, as you can see, coil. I'm also going to um, do it from both sides because your hand is not the same on either side when you're holding it around the coil and it tends to flatten more edge one edge more on one side and make your handle a little bit uneven so you want to turn it a few times to make sure that you're as even as possible then I'm going to find the side that has a more natural curve in it which in this case is this side and I'm going to take my thumb again wet hands and I'm going to put my thumb up here at the top and I'm going to just slide down the center of the handle to create an indentation. And then with wet hands, I'm going to do it again a few times. And I got that fat part again. And I'm going to turn it, same as before. And let's take a look at it and see. Looks like it's the right thickness width, and it's got a nice indentation over here. And the walls are not, the sides of the indentation are not sharp, so because I've done that. So now I'm going to take it, put in my, drape it over my left hand, which is dry, and take my thumb in my right hand and just push down towards my left hand and that will cut it off and you'll get this nice cut off which we'll be able to use later when attaching the handle to the mug and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to drape it over a wooden tube that I have until it dries um, some so that it'll hold the shape because as you can see now it's a bit floppy and uh, I guess that's all thanks for watching